Hi, Vadim here. In previous video we've met 7 of 10 rules which ornament cells obey. Also, I have shown how ornament cell can divide frequency of trigger source and act as sync source for other devices. In this video I am going to give you deep explanation of ornament operating modes. It's a unique way allows to control event distribution in patterns which you cannot find in classical sequences. Following examples will be demonstrated with Lyra 8, but if you haven't got Lyra, I recommend you not skip this part and try to understand how ornament modes work, because we will use it very frequently. Connect ornament ground pin to lower sensor off adapter or use special power cable. This cable connects power rails of both instruments to power source. Also, it connects ground pins of devices, so you no need to do it manually. Each ornament cell has three operating modes, controlled by Tri-State Tumblr. Note, then LED always shows pulsar out value. Lyra out of cell shorted to ground, then pulsar out equals 10 volts. Instead of analyzing things, let's play with them. I connect all cells Lyra outputs to corresponding Lyra voices. Create three step loop cell 4, cell 5, and cell 6. Turn all cells in positive mode, but disconnect Lyra out of 5th and 6th cells from Lyra 8 adapter. A bit later we will bring this connection back. Press set button to activate loop. Now you periodically hear voice 4 of Lyra. Time parameter of cell 4 controls period of sounding. Sum of time parameters of cell 5 and cell 6 control period of silence. Turn cell 4 into negative operating mode. Periodicity of pattern doesn't change, but roles of time parameters change to the opposite. Now connect previously disconnected Lyra out of cell 5 to fifth Lyra voice. Turn cell 5 to positive mode, but before I activate cell, pause video and try to say which voices will be active and why. Answer is, firstly we hear nothing, because then cell 4 is active, in inverted mode voice 4 is silent, after cell 5 is active we hear voice 5 and voice 4 because cell 4 is inactive. Then cell 6 is active, its voice still disconnected from ornament, and we just hear voice 4. After that, cycle repeats. Let's mute one of these two voices without disconnecting from Lyra sensor. Use pause operating mode corresponding to middle tumbler position. Cell still takes part at trigger exchange, but pulsar out always equals zero. Changing of operating mode is simple but powerful trick can drastically change pattern. We use it in next example. Connect trick inputs and trick outputs to create simple 5 step loop. Second to fourth, fourth to sixth, sixth to fifth, fifth to eighth, and 8th to 2nd. You can change the order or amount of connected cells. Tune Lyra voices to some interesting intervals. After turn all cells to positive operating mode and activate loop, add some delay to smooth sound. Change time parameters to find interesting rhythmical motion. 
Maybe it tunes some voices a little bit. Only one cell active at a time. You can change operating modes of any cell and simply get different set of intervals combined from five voices. Combining this technique with organismic power of Lyra 8 and its FM synthesis capabilities, you can generate really powerful soundscapes. By the way, you can try to activate more than one cell in a loop. Let's see how it will sound like. Now there are not active cell in this loop. Now two cells active in the loop. In future videos, I'll show methods of modulation of time parameters. Despite simplicity of such tumbler toggling, combining time modulation and operating modes can completely change all ornament behavior in one toggle. In next video, I'll cover new techniques of creating rhythms, which require knowledge of ornament operating modes. So, see you next video.